first start pega so today we'll see one more ui controlled called control called uh, a slider okay so slider can be found in under pickers let's say if you go here you can see slider so before that i'll add one dynamic layout to it my section i'll add one slide see uh, slider can be used it's a uh, uh, like uh, whenever if you want to enter any input numeric value so this scenario you can go with a uh, slider option uh, if uh, let's say if you want to give an option to the end user so rather than entering numeric values you want to select so you can go with a slider option okay so basically it is useful for uh, integers only okay so let's say uh, before we start we'll see what are the configurations we have under slider so if you open slider right uh, see this all visible uh, default visible to disabled this all configuration and you know, we've seen uh, same as all properties so the difference is only difference is starting range we have and ending range we have so starting range is uh, let's say we we can also have a number or also we can also have a property reference so and ending range also same we can also have a prop number and property reference so even though for interval also we have seen so we'll see what it is one by one so before that i don't have any integer properties created i'll just create so select Creating thing I'll select okay so properties can be created in a view virtual configuration option only so as beginning only I told it is only useful for uh, integer numeric values so I select as the integer so if you want to use this for a rep uh, like a, a reporting like if you want to optimize these properties you can select from here only and we can also have create and cre uh, create and open under new property or else create and close so as of now i have only one i'll just create and close so select editing okay and if you come here starting range we have number and property reference so we will see with a number so let's say starting number one i want to select rating of employee from 1 to 10 so in that case starting would be 1 and ending would be 10 so you can also have interval means for every one move how much left or right how much you need to change whether 1 or 2 like, like that uh, you can select the interval so let's say i'll select as a one only so when you select interval number so you have one more option called show caption so we'll see later this part so i'll submit it okay and i'll I learned about See, select rating property we have, but uh, we don't know what we are selecting here, right? So, for this, we can go and we can modify this. So, I'll keep it as a interval means for every move, I need to select one either uh, uh, and then show caption also. I select. Same. See, uh, if I select right or left, it only changes one value. So you can also see uh, the number uh, under below show caption you selected, right? So you can see with a keyboard also left and right uh, move you can move it right and left okay so this way you can select this value let's say i don't want to display this i want to set uh, show in some value so what value is selected so i can also have one more i'll keep one more property here so 
so let's uh, I'll keep it so I'll keep this 7030 okay select train I'll go here post value one change and setting uh, setting value let's say one I'll create one more property called selected value okay given this is type of integer I'll create an integer property create and close okay so I'm setting it to rating okay I'll keep this default value I'll give it as a first okay I'll select okay so this way you can make it uh, this selected in this case even though if you can move, remove this uh, show caption option so you can modify this way selected for so you can this value as it is so I selected three so I can give it a three star rating for the employee who was selected so this way you can get and there is also a few more configuration you can look in so you can have and uh, you can see it in vertical also let's say I want some 300 pixel uh, vertical so you can also have that vertical presentation okay we'll see this so this way also you can make it and this starting and ending range, uh, range you can select any number let's say i can select uh, starting as a one and you can select as an ending number as a let's say 100 so keep interval as a 10 so it's a purely based on your requirement how you want it to be so you can configure this so every move it will change by interval i am keeping as a 10 change so this way you can use a form slider in Viber. So you have any doubts so you can please post to this video. So I'll help you. Uh, I'll, I'll reply with the, that and uh, we'll see one more uh, UI control in next coming videos. Thank you.